Hey y'all, it's me. I'm back. Um, I came in right quick. I want. I took my hair down, and I want to do kind of like um, a combo video if I can, because uh, y'all know I I added a lot of time. Y'all see my hair right now? There's nothing in it, and you see I got my leave out plaited down, and I gelled my edges down because they are not relaxed at all. And they were real, I mean, good and, and nappy. So I gelled my edges down. So what I'm going to do now is put a little moisturizer on my hair. Okay? And I want you to see how the curls come back. Even though there's, to me, there's nothing wrong with them right now because I like them wavy. You know, I'm, that's just me. But what I got, I've used my leave-in conditioner which is the infusing leave-in conditioner. I do that once a day. But like when I want to do, I want to, I like the kind of wet look a little bit. I got this Smooth Shine Polishing Ultra Style Bodifying Mousse. Okay. And it does give it body. It'll, it'll poof out on you when it dry. But what I like to do is put it on and then plait it down overnight and let it dry like that. And then when I take it up loose, I don't comb it through with my fingers. I just kind of pull it apart a little bit. You know, so what I'm going to do is put a little bit of this on here. Can y'all see that? And I know that looked like a lot, but I always start from the top. I'm learning how to work with this hair, y'all, because I'm not used to, you know, because I'm I'm that type of product girl. I love my I love putting moisturizer in my hair. I like my hair to smell a certain type of way. I like it to feel a certain type of way. So whatever I put in my hair, I I put in this hair. So I don't usually put mousse in my hair, but I am now. Got a straight hair in my front hair. So can you see the difference? And how this looks, I put the mousse on this side. And can you see the side that doesn't have mousse? See? And these are my ends. And they don't, they're not tangled. You know, I do have a few um, hairs that shred, that, um, sh I'm going to say shred, shed. And that's because I had to cut my weft. The 16 inch, I had to cut it and I didn't seal it at the top. Okay, so this is the difference between me adding no product and me adding a little mousse. Now, can y'all see that? Y'all forgive my alfalfa sprout in the top. But I wanted this out of the way. And I know, see, if I leave my hair down, you can see my tracks. Because I didn't, I braided my hair down, so. Which I'm going to put my, um, my head scarf on. So I'm going to go ahead and do this side too. And see, I want y'all to see this. With me being four foot, eleven inches tall, and this is eighteen inch hair. Can you see how it come down on me? Can you imagine me with thirty two inch hair? See what it come in on me? Thirty two inch hair would be all the way down past my behind. I'm going to slip on one shoe with a heel on it and show y'all what the difference is if I wear heels. Okay, I'm down here. If I would put these heels on, it'll, yeah, y'all see my stomach. It boosts me up a little bit.
which it would make a difference with heels and long hair. But you know, I'm not a high hair kind of person. I got a certain pair that I like to wear, but other than that, So, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. Okay, my mousse about to run out. It wasn't that but $3.99 a can, so it was a $2.99. Either way, it lasted for a while. But see, my daughter, she, she got a half wig. And we went to the hair store and they had them buy one, get one, get the other one half off. No, buy one, get one free. So one was $25 and the other one was free. So, and it's curly. So she done started putting the mousse in it, even though it's synthetic. Yo, that's one thing about me. Even though when I buy my synthetic weave, I still put product in my in it. Because a lot of times I leave some of my hair out. And I don't want my hair drying out because I didn't put something in it. So, see how that looks? It's a difference. Okay, I'm a little bit more. This is the side I did from the beginning. Over here. This is more over here. Mm -mm. I'm glad it ain't gel. This is just how I do a little quick fix. Now, as far as my makeup concerned, y'all, I didn't have on anything earlier. So, I got a little, I know I don't have anything purple, but y'all, purple is my color lately. I like wearing purple. So, I put on a little purple eyeshadow. It was a, um, it's by LA Colors. It's a, a, a color, an eyeshadow pencil. Got it from Family Dollar for a dollar. Can't beat that for a dollar. And it went on so smooth. It wasn't flaky or nothing like that. And um, and then I have a, a lip gloss. I did a little purple on the inside and then a lighter color on the outside. Hmm. And there we have it. Just a little something. But like I said, um, this gonna be that's eight minutes, y'all. So this gonna be a little combo video. There was a lady that I was watching. Um, her name is C Kane sixty eight. She did a video about things that I don't like. So I thought, hey, I wasn't tagged in the video, but I thought I would do it. You know, um, it's a free country. We can talk about whatever we want, right? So I thought I would do it. Um, things I don't like. Things I don't like. I don't like to see guys sagging. She talked about the same thing. That's a true pet peeve and that's a turn off. I don't care how cute you are, how sexy you may be. Let me see your pants sagging where I can see your underwear or the crack of your butt. That's an instant turn off to me. I can't stand it. Even kids, little kids, I don't like to see you sagging. I, that's, that's number one on the list. Number two, I don't like um, 
to see women and their toes hang over the front of their shoes. Either get them a half size bigger or something. I cannot stand that. It's like, wow. It's not cute to me at all. Um, number t number three, I don't like to see big girls that have muffin tops and they shirt too short. It won't come down over their muffin top. Or to for you to have on some pants that's too little and it stops at the middle of your butt and you got this much of your crack showing in the back. And you actually leave out the house and go in the store like that. And your shirt too low. I understand that might be all you had to put on. You could have came with pajamas on. I'd rather see you in pajamas than have all your stuff hanging out like that. Okay. That's number three. Number four. I can't stand to see a little child with a nappy head. And their mama is laid. Okay. I can't stand that. The other day I did a video and my girls was outside playing and they ponytail unraveled. When I put them on the screen, I politely like put their, my hand over their ponytail. I can't stand that. But I bet you one thing, if you look at her today, her hair done. Because I took that mess down and redid it. Mm-hmm. Yes. I can't stand that. Um, number four. Number five. Let's see. Things that I don't like. I don't like men that degrade women just because they can. Men that have power like preachers or pastors or something like that. I run into some that talk to their wives like they gum like they gum on the bottom of their shoe. Don't give them no respect. Say some stuff in front of them that's just, you know, I said, I don't, who care? Don't treat, she is your helper. She is not your do girl. She is not your stepping stone. I've seen a lot of that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like people chiming in and being disrespectful. It's okay to chime in. Everybody have freedom of speech, but it's a way that you say things, you know? It's a way that you say things to people. You don't have to be disrespectful and nasty and hateful and just mm, you don't have to do all of that. I don't like for to be in the grocery store and somebody standing there talking so loud on their cell phone Oh yeah, bitch this. Oh yeah. Oh nigga, fuck you and all and I'm like, oh my god, what make you think everybody around you wanna hear that? Everybody don't speak like that, even if they do have some common sense not to do it in public. It's just disrespectful. You want your children to walk up to you and start talking like that? Oh no, I don't. Mm-mm. I can't stand it. I can't stand for people to just be in the grocery store on the phone like this all the time. You can't grocery shop. You got to talk to somebody the whole time you in the grocery store. That's a pet peeve of mine. I can't stand it. I might get a phone call while I'm in the store and I talk a little bit. But I got to get off the phone because I, I, just, I just can't do it. Let me call you back when I come out of the store. I hate to see somebody texting and trying to drive. I hate this for somebody. I don't like somebody get in line. You in the line, and this person got you got a big basket of, of stuff, and you got the person behind you might have like three or four things, and you be nice enough to let them in the line, but then they call somebody else over there to get in the line with them, and they got two baskets of stuff. I don't like that. I don't like to see children talk back to their parents. Mm -mm. I just don't like that. Um, I don't like to see young girls have on white pants and white underwear. Or either they have on polka dotted underwear. Or something like that. I don't like to see little girls have on a tank top and they well not little girls but anybody and they bra straps dirty. If you got to wash it out on your hands, let that be that. I don't like that. I don't like to leave out the house without my hair comb. 
period. Now, if I put on a head scarf, that's different. But I can't stand to go in the store and somebody hair stick it straight up on their head. I, I can't I don't like that. Mm -mm. I don't like when somebody um ask you something and they or you eat and they be like, what is that? If you put your hand in my food, you gonna get kicked to sleep. I can't oh I don't like when somebody talking to you and they picking their nose. Ooh, I can't stand that. I'm like, that's nasty. What if you take your finger out your nose and you got a big old slimy book on your nose on your finger? That's nasty. What you gonna do with it? You ain't even got no tissue. I don't care how much my nose itch, I'll do like this or like this or something like that. Or you'll hear me do that if I feel like it's something in my nose that's bothering me. I'm not finna sit there and dig in my nose. Now sometimes like the edge of your nose might be itching and you might do like that a little bit or the corner. But you ain't, I'm not going to stick my finger up in my and they be going at it. And they talking to you. I can't stand that. I don't like that. And I don't like to hear somebody clear their throat and then swallow that shit. Oh my goodness. Woo! I don't like that. Say excuse me and get up and go spit or something. Or don't clear your throat. <clears throat> Just do like that. Don't do, don't. <sighs> And something come out, and then you sit there. Ooh! I can't stand that. Mm -mm. That's nasty. That you know what that made me think of? That when you open your mouth to say something, your breath gonna smell like whatever was in your nose. Mm. I don't like that. I don't. I don't like that. Y'all, that's just some of the few things that I can honestly say that I don't like. Okay. Now, number two, she had another video that was called Shut the Fuck Up. It's so many people you want to tell shut the fuck up. And I think my top on the list is I had so many people constantly chime in as to how many children I got. When I had five, they were like, you pregnant again? You and your husband need to find a hobby. I say I do, and it's him. That's my hobby. Y'all need to get another TV in the house. I say, look, I got more. I got a TV in every room of my house, including the kitchen. And need one in the bathroom. That ain't it. Y'all need to shut the fuck up. I am married. That's my husband. He is not my boyfriend. He is not my booty call. He is not none of that. He is my husband. And anything that we have together is blessed by God because we are married. I can have as many children as I want to. I ain't on no, uh, I don't get no check. None of that. My daughter do get um, Medicaid because she is disabled. She was considered disabled. She get medical benefits for the rest of her life. But as far as me going and um, that tandem, what they call it, tan check, I don't get that. And I don't have nothing against it. But I don't get it. Anybody that need it, I pray that they give it to you and give you a little extra because we need it in this society. No. And y'all, come here. I want to show that I know I'm getting off track. Remember I told you about I don't like to see little children with a, a nappy head. And I told you my daughter was outside playing the other day and her head was ratchet. And I redid her hair. This is my baby. Say hey. Hey. This is Jalen. She got her hair done. Turn to the side, mama. I braided her hair last night. Now, if you see the other one, her hair is ratchet right about now because I haven't braided hers yet. This is the side. But I have to do, I'm going to do hers later on the night when I know she's going to go to sleep because she's going to fight you the whole time. She whines the whole time you do her hair. But see that? There you go, Jay. But, um, like I was saying, I want people to shut up about that okay you can't tell people how many children they have some people like children like that Jayla go in the back for a minute let me finish this video yeah they did I had the nurse at the doctor's office tell me I need to get a hobby 
when after I told her how many kids I have. That ain't none of your MFing business. You worrying about what I'm putting in my split. You don't need to worry about that. I'm his wife. If he want to unload, he can unload all day. And I take care of mine, all of them. I got three that's grown and I started over. My oldest daughter worked and she go to school. She worked two jobs. She worked and she go to school. Was going for her bachelor's degree. And after that, she planned on going in the military as an officer. I don't know if she's still going to do that, but that's what she told me. My son graduated high school. He's um, in some college. And um, he's starting his own business as, as a graphic designer. My 18-year-old, this is her last year of school, and she's into photography. I think I did a good job. Once they leave my house, if they lose their mind and flip out, that's on them. Because I, I can honestly say I taught you right from wrong. So people get off mine worrying about who I sleep with. I have his last name and I can sleep with him all day and night. If I want to be laid out wide open all day, I can do that. And go enjoy myself and sure won't be thinking about whether y'all like it or not. I don't regret either one of my children, even the first one that... That I had when I was young. I don't regret that. I don't. Because you know why? Because God chose that moment to bring her into this world. He used me. He used me to bring his child into this world. Because I can't create like I can have sex all I want. That don't mean I'm going to produce a child out of it. Thank you. But you know, you know. That's one of them things, one of them moments when I want to tell somebody to shut the F up. For real. I want to tell people that's right here talking about they're going to vote for Mitt Romney to shut the fuck up. Because you sound stupid. Even though I know it's freedom of choice, but the, some of the things that he is against as far as um, people being free, I don't like it. Hold on a minute, y'all. Hello? Yes. Hey. I miss you too. What's going on? I sound like who? What's up, niggas? <laughs> Is that better? Clean us! <laughs> Don't call me and you got food in your mouth. You ain't gonna bring me none home. So how Ashley gonna get home? Oh, okay. I, I, I don't know if I'll be asleep when you get home, but and you say 1 o'clock in the morning. And that's all right, because I put them neck bones on already, so we'll eat and uh, we just go on to bed. Bring me home some donuts if y'all got them. Nothing there in the back. And I'm going to make a video. And this, all right. No, he told me to call him late on this afternoon. All right, bye. Hello? Yes. No, not yet. He told me to call him later this evening. Oh, you nasty burping in my ear. Nothing. No. Okay. Yeah, I guess so. You might need to bring me some dish detergent home since your dad ain't coming home till in the morning. Yeah, about one or two in the morning. Okay. 
Bye. All right, y'all. Sorry about that. But, um, yeah, that's another thing I'm going to add to the list of something I don't like. For you to burp in my ear or burp in my face. My daughter just did that. And I, I'm glad I didn't cuss her out because she had me on speakerphone at her job. Woo! That's nasty. That is nasty. I can't stand that. But, yeah, um, that's some of the things I be wanting to tell people to shut the F up about. You know, if I think of something else, I'll make another one. But, um, I think that's it, y'all. I'm out. I'm at 25 minutes. So, y'all be easy. Stay encouraged. Bless somebody in some type of way. In Jesus' name. I bid you love, peace, and hair grease. Y'all take care.